Have you ever thought about what your poop indicates about your health? Today, we're diving into a subject that everyone experiences but seldom talks about. What various stool types suggest about our health. Whether it's floating or sinking, green or greasy, each type of stool tells its own story. In this video, we'll decode the meanings behind different stool colors and consistencies using the Bristol stool chart. I'll also provide tips on how to achieve healthy bowel movements for better overall health. Before we continue, please be aware that the information in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health professionals. With that assurance, let's dive into 10 things your stool can reveal about your health. Healthy stool. Let's start by discussing what healthy stool typically looks like, keeping in mind that everyone is unique. Generally, healthy poop should be a rich brown color, similar to the shade often depicted in the poop emoji. This color is due to stomach bile and bilirubin, a pigment that forms from the breakdown of red blood cells. In terms of shape, healthy stool should resemble a log or a hot dog, with its regular shape being formed by our intestines. Passing stool should be pain-free and effortless. It's normal for stool to have a strong smell due to the gases emitted by bacteria in your gut. The consistency should be soft and formed, holding together when flushed. A healthy frequency for bowel movements is once or twice a day, although every other day can also be normal for some people. However, going more than three days without a bowel movement could indicate constipation. Lastly, a healthy bowel movement shouldn't take more than about 15 minutes. While you might spend longer sitting on the toilet, especially if you're distracted by your phone, the actual process should be quick. If it consistently takes longer, consider improving your diet with more fiber, increasing your water intake, and adding more physical activity to your routine. Constipation. If you're having fewer than three bowel movements a week and find it difficult or uncomfortable to go, you may be dealing with constipation. Struggling to have a bowel movement or spending more than 15 minutes trying to pass stool are also indicators of poor bowel health. Are you familiar with the Bristol stool chart? Created in 1992 and based on a study involving 2,000 people, this chart is a straightforward, interactive tool to help identify different types of stools. The first type on the Bristol stool chart, known as type 1, resembles small, hard lumps similar to marbles. This indicates severe constipation. The second type, often referred to as type 2, looks like a lumpy, long sausage akin to a caterpillar and is usually hard to pass, signifying mild constipation. If you find yourself struggling to pass stool at least three times a week and it resembles these types, it's advisable to consider adjusting your diet. Incorporating more whole grains, fruits, and vegetables can help improve your bowel movements. Moreover, consulting a doctor or nutritionist is recommended if you frequently experience these symptoms, as the underlying issue often relates to diet. Seeking advice from a nutritionist can provide tailored dietary guidance to address constipation effectively. Lack of fiber. If your stool appears as soft blobs with clear-cut edges and passes easily, it generally indicates a healthy but possibly low-fiber diet. Other indicators might include feeling constantly hungry after meals, experiencing insatiable food cravings, having low energy levels, and facing difficulties with sleep. To address a fiber deficiency, consider enriching your diet with more fruits like pears, apples, avocados, and raspberries. Vegetables such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and beets are also excellent sources of fiber. Don't forget to include legumes like split peas, chickpeas, and lentils in your meals. Grains and seeds such as oats, almonds, and chia seeds are also great for boosting fiber intake. Inflammation. If your stool is soft, loosely formed, and has ragged edges, it might indicate inflammation. When your body encounters harmful agents such as viruses, bacteria, or environmental toxins, it responds through a process known as inflammation. Accompanying symptoms might include abdominal pain, chest pain, fatigue, fever, and joint stiffness. If you notice this type of stool along with one or more of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical attention. 
This could be indicative of an underlying health issue that needs to be addressed by a healthcare professional. Gastrointestinal bleeding. A black stool that resembles coffee grounds can indicate gastrointestinal bleeding. You might wonder why black signifies blood. The reason is that as the stool travels slowly through the gastrointestinal tract, any blood present can darken over time. This type of bleeding can signal a disorder within the digestive tract. Other symptoms associated with gastrointestinal bleeding might include abdominal pain, chest pain, vomiting blood, difficulty breathing, or lightheadedness. Therefore, a black stool should not be ignored. However, it's also important not to be overly alarmed, as certain foods and medications can influence the color of your stool. Consuming licorice, iron-rich foods, iron supplements, bismuth medications, or black stout can all result in black stools. If you frequently notice black stools and it's not clearly linked to diet or medication, it's crucial to consult a doctor to rule out any serious underlying conditions. Diarrhea. If your stool is watery and unformed, resembling soft serve, you're likely experiencing diarrhea. This condition occurs when your stool moves too quickly through your bowels to form solid, healthy poop. Diarrhea can be caused by a variety of factors, including bacterial infections, consuming foods that upset your digestive system, allergies, medication side effects, radiation therapy, or poor food absorption. While diarrhea is often simply a result of something you ate, it can sometimes be accompanied by more concerning symptoms. If you experience dark urine, a rapid heart rate, headaches, flushed skin, confusion, dizziness, severe nausea, or vomiting following episodes of diarrhea, it is crucial to seek medical attention immediately. These symptoms can indicate a more serious underlying condition that requires prompt treatment. Liver or gallbladder issues. If your stool is pale, white, or gray, this could indicate issues with your liver or gallbladder, possibly due to a bile duct obstruction. Pale stools often suggest a lack of bile, which is essential for the digestion and absorption of fats and also gives stool its normal brown color. The absence of bile may be due to various reasons, including issues with your pancreas or gallbladder or the use of anti-diarrhea medications, which can also lead to lighter colored stools. If you observe pale stools and have no other symptoms, you might choose to monitor the situation to see if your stool color returns to its normal brown shade. However, pale or white stools in children or babies are more concerning and require immediate medical attention. If you notice this in your child or baby, take them to the hospital without delay to ensure prompt diagnosis and treatment. Green stool. Sometimes your stool may appear green, which could be due to consuming a lot of green vegetables or food coloring, or from conditions that cause food to move too quickly through your intestines. Eating a lot of green vegetables like spinach or kale can naturally color your stool green. However, green stool can also indicate that there is too much bile or not enough bilirubin in your system. If your stool passes through your intestines too quickly, it may not have enough time to absorb bilirubin, which normally gives stool its brown color. Additionally, infections from parasites or bacteria, such as Salmonella, Giardia, or Norovirus, can cause your digestive system to speed up, resulting in green stool. Conditions like Crohn's disease or other gastrointestinal issues can also cause bile to move too quickly through the intestines, leading to green stool. Moreover, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, or excessive use of laxatives might also lead to green stools. If green stool is an occasional occurrence and you've consumed a lot of green vegetables recently, it may not be a cause for concern. However, if you frequently have green stools and it's not clearly linked to diet, it might be wise to consult a healthcare provider to rule out any potential underlying conditions. Hemorrhoids. If you notice small amounts of bright red blood on the toilet paper or in your stool, this could indicate hemorrhoids. It's important to note that eating foods like berries, beets, or consuming a lot of tomato juice can also cause your stool to appear red. However, once these foods have passed through your digestive system, your stool should return to its normal brown color. Typically, seeing red blood on the toilet paper after a bowel movement is a common sign of hemorrhoids. 
Additionally, if you feel a sensation of skin protruding from the anus after bowel movements, this further indicates the presence of hemorrhoids. There's no need for panic or embarrassment. Hemorrhoids are not life-threatening and often resolve on their own. Hemorrhoids can be uncomfortable, but they are manageable. If the discomfort becomes bothersome or if the symptoms persist, consider consulting a proctologist for professional treatment options. Fat absorption issues. If your stool is yellow and greasy, it might indicate issues with fat absorption, such as insufficient bile or enzyme production affecting digestion. Excessive fat in the stool can result from problems related to bile or digestive enzymes, and it's advisable to consult a doctor for testing. If tests confirm a high fat content in your stool, it may be a sign of malabsorption, a condition where your body fails to absorb nutrients properly. Malabsorption can be caused by various issues affecting your intestines, pancreas, or liver. For example, the pancreas may not produce enough digestive enzymes to effectively break down fats, or the liver might not be producing sufficient bile needed for fat digestion. However, it's important to note that changes in stool color can also be influenced by dietary choices and the types of foods you consume. Our stool can tell a lot of things about your body and health, you can also take a sample of your stool for tests to determine if you have any stomach bacteria or diseases, so it won't do you any harm to check your poop from time to time. Moreover, you should keep track of how much fiber you eat or how often you drink water. All these things can have a great effect on your overall health.